Scene in November of 2021 when the FBI raided the Sewage and Water Board offices just hours after our exclusive David Hammer investigation of self-dealing in the public plumbing department. Well, now over a year later, the New Orleans Sewage and Water Board has hired a prominent criminal defense attorney to help it respond to the ongoing criminal probes. Here's David with that story. Defense attorney Billy Gibbons is known for fighting the FBI in court. More than a decade ago, he exposed an online commenting scandal in former U.S. Attorney Jim Letton's office, forcing Letton and two top prosecutors out and ending a four-year-long FBI investigation of his client. And just last year, Gibbons defended Orleans District Attorney Jason Williams in a tax fraud trial and won. So why is the New Orleans Sewerage and Water Board now paying Gibbons $450 an hour to help the agency deal with, quote, several subpoenas to testify before a federal grand jury in connection with criminal investigations being conducted by the Federal Bureau of Investigation? The Sewerage and Water Board says it's cooperating with the feds and none of its current employees are under investigation, but the board confirmed its employees have been called as witnesses by a federal grand jury. It's a clear indication that the criminal investigation of the Sewerage and Water Board Plumbing Department continues, 17 months after a very public raid where the FBI seized all of the city's plumbing permits and inspections. That happened just hours after we exposed a web of self-dealing by officials in the plumbing department. The Sewerage and Water Board fired plumbing chief Jay Arnold and plumbing inspector Vernon Marcotte after we showed them getting gas line installation permits at construction sites where they also approved the plumbing. David Hammer. Eyewitness News. Well, the Sewage and Water Board denied our request for copies of the subpoenas, claiming they can't be disclosed under federal grand jury secrecy rules. Well, we dispute that because those secrecy rules do not apply to state agencies or anyone else that receives a subpoena.